Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is a, a very big honour for me today. Uh, me and my family and my staff. Um, it's uh, it's uh, a day to remember because I would say the only, for the first time a prime minister acknowledged the wonderful job that we do in this country, the job that to be able to be creative and um, and and be part of the artisan world. And thank you, Prime Minister, to visit us today and to acknowledge what we do for our country. Thank you. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick. Well, thanks very much to Nick and, and uh, Camilla for having us here at Taroni Jewelers. Uh, I'm very proud uh, that uh, this is in my electorate. What we have here is jewellery being produced uh, that is amongst the best in the world. Barbara Streisand and Celine Dion have sat in that room there and chosen jewellery from here. Uh, we have uh, Tarani jewellery, jewellery uh, worn at every Academy Awards, every Emmy Awards globally. Uh, this is something that we should be proud of. And for Nick, uh, this was his uh, one bedroom, I think it was, terrace, uh, when it was bought here in Leichhardt. That is now uh, exporting to the world incredibly high quality product. Taking Australia's natural resources, our diamonds and other gems, our gold, our silver, our extraordinary natural assets, producing something that is unique and beautiful and creating jobs around the same time. Uh, Nick has always insisted on having at least five or six apprentices come in every year, building up that skills base, uh, that artistry uh, that can make us proud and can adding value. And this successful business is part of the great Australian migrant story here in Leichhardt, in the heart of the Italian community. The fact that this was a one-bedroom terrace, that was the bedroom just behind where the cameras are there, has now, of course, this is just one of the stores uh, here in Australia, but also a presence in Los Angeles and around the world, Japan uh, exporting to the world. A bedroom just behind where the cameras are there, has now, of course, this is just one of the stores uh, here in Australia, but also a presence in Los Angeles and around the world, Japan uh, exporting to the world. I wanted to come here with Brendan O'Connor, our Minister for uh, Skills, Employment and Training, uh, to very much emphasise that when people speak about skills, including in National Skills Week, often they'll think about plumbers and they'll think about apprentices but it's about other skills that are needed as well. And I have spoken often during the campaign about a future made in Australia, about ways in which we take our resources and value add and then export to the world as well as for domestic consumption. And this is a great example of it. Uh, a business that has employed over the years hundreds of employees. A business that is well run, you can always tell, because when you walk around, when people say to you, I've worked here for 40 years and 35 years, is what it, which is what we heard downstairs, that sort of loyalty and pride in the work is something that uh, brings great credit to Australia and particularly uh, brings great credit to the Tarani family. And so to Nicola, thank you so much. Uh, for having us here today. I want to acknowledge the presence as well of Senator Francesco Jacobi, uh, one of the Oceania uh, representatives in the Italian parliament who's joined us, us here uh, as well. A local, based him in Sydney, but also uh, based, uh, of course, uh, in Rome and representing uh, this region of the world in the Italian parliament. 